move on. The music that just started playing was pretty uh, aggressive, right? Like it just screamed at me. It's like, ah, here is my music. Listen to the music. Else, right? Ko is no longer Emperor of Sada. Thank goodness, the old Emperor was a fiend and warmonger. Finally, something good happened. Sun was always so bright. Uh, but now I can look right uh, now I can look right at him because Lady Moon blocks the, the light. Yeah, it's not a good thing, my friend. The room is knocked out. Emperor loved war. We warred everywhere and our young men went, uh, was sent out to fight. Emperor Ko died a few years ago. Luckily, King Wo was away and Unan could become Emperor. So it seems like the other guy was just a piece of trash that no one liked. That's what I'm getting, at least. Get some ginseng. I was just checking, you know? If the game was like, hey, you need to slap this guy away, I was gonna hesitate. Oh no, I am supposed to slap him. Um, I just have to find a way to be on the same level as him, right? Can't slap him from over here, that's for certain. There shall be no slapping from this distance. One must find a way to get closer to slap a person. found money <laughs> essentially I found money that's definitely gonna be sold not doing me any good rumor says that there's a really valuable gym hidden in, in lady he Nick shows room I wonder how valuable the sound and royal is mother to Ryoku and Hoju besides having lost her husband in battle both her children are missing no, they're not missing they're here they should be home by now, I assume. They left way earlier than we did. So if they didn't make it home by uh, by now, I have large questions for them. Oh, that's a Jenny. There's a Mars Jenny on the roof. I have 
too much to carry now, so I wait for the ferry boat, but it never comes. That's because that fool is knocked out. He'll be waiting for a long while, because he ain't coming anytime soon. Hey, 222 coins. Let's go. More money for my pocket. Does that make me sound like a money grabber? Because if it does, that's fine. I'm poor anyway. So I have to sound like a money grabber <clears throat> to get some money. Can I slap him from this distance? Ha <laughs> ha! Like a fool! <laughs> How far away I am, though. Wake up, fool! Uh oh! Uh oh! It's already time to get the ferry moving? So you should have been working five years ago. It's gonna get really quiet for a second. Give me a second. I can still keep playing while I do this. It's just my nose, that's all. Fire spit is encountered in Tom Fawn. Tinder can be soaked life's fire with perfect reliability and an unconscious ally. Finally, a, a gen that can revive somebody without there being a question of whether or not it's gonna work. <laughs> it's like, cool, you can revive them, but will it actually work? where it's at for now. When we get Hemi, that's when we'll do swappies. Swapsies, I should say. My guess is Hemi probably has most of the other Venus Genie that we're missing. Yo, these grounds look amazing. I wish I lived here. I said, yep. And you know the first thing we have to do, right? When we get to a nice palace like this, sneak into the back because that's just how you do these things. Can I go in? Are they going to stop me? They're not going to stop me. Good job. I don't know if that's bad guarding or uh, what. You guys probably should have vetted me before you guys just let me walk right through. Just saying. I'm not bad or anything like that, but you don't know that. All right, so now we have to go all the way to the other side to get the actual treasure chest, right? So there's one thing this game is very fond of doing. It's making you run back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, forth and back. Lady Hini Chill's room. If the gong sounds, I must respond immediately, so I never relax. At the end of the day, I'm exhausted. Yeah, I feel ya. I don't have no gong though. Lady Hina just smile with her mouth, but not her eyes. I fear they won't smile until her children, uh, her children return. The others tell me that I must accept that Ryoko and Hoju are um, are dead. This cannot um do. This I cannot do. If only my husband had not been slain, his Echo Gem could have found Hoju easily. These gems are only useful in pairs. Each taps into its holder's life force to emit light and communicate with the other stuff. I 
Um, so I guess the question would be, where is that Echo Gym at, right? Oh, yay! I was wondering when the next time I get to use Grip was going to be. I was still a little confused because I haven't seen Grip being used at all lately. It's been mostly Crush. Dragon Ball! Let's go! I love using bows. They're my new, they're my like, one of my new favorite weapons in this game. And I love Karis with the bow. It just seems natural for her, right? To have the bow. Lord Kuan and Emperor Unan were as close as any brothers I've known. They came to, they came the Morgul, they came, then came the Morgul Revolution, my bad. Oof. Oof, reading skills aren't out there. Is he in his room? You wish to meet with Emperor Unan? Yes. Who is it, Emperor? Pardon me. But are you not the Master Sage Kraton? I must please you have come. Please enter. Thank you all for coming. We have heard much of the wisdom um we have heard much of the wisdom of Emperor Unan. It is a great honor to meet you. And it, and I in turn have heard much of the knowledge of the great scholar Kraton. The honor is entirely mine. May I assume, Your Majesty, that you already know of the eclipse across the continent? I heard legends of it from a Morgul story to a Morgul storyteller once. Nothing could have prepared me for the reality of it. When Sana occupied Morgul, I visited my brother there for a time and learned much of its court um, culture. As I understand it, we have whoever activated Luna Tower to blame for this catastrophe. What? Blinty finds out it was actually one of his. We bear some of the responsibility, though the consequences are beyond our, even our wildest nightmares. Some of the responsibility? Well, it was the Tuaparang who were really responsible. Tuaparang, as in the self styled Zenith tribe of um, Tuaparang? But the one who actually turned it on was a sodden boy named Ryoku. Poor kid. He was in a pretty rotten situation. No one can really blame him for what he did. Ryoku and his sister? Alright, we had heard that Ryoku and Hoju were somehow connected to the sodden royal family. What is it? What is the matter, Your Majesty? Ryoku is my brother's son. So Hoju is my niece, yes. But at least I know now know that both were alive before the um before the eclipse. I sent the ship to Morgal to rescue them once we had news that they were there. And the ship? It has not returned. We were separated from them just before the eclipse. I hope they were able to avoid the monsters. I don't imagine there is any way of knowing. I've got a good feeling about it. I'm sure they made it. I want nothing more than to see them alive again, but prayer seems my only recourse. In any case, as Emperor, I cannot be seen to sow too much emotion, even over the loss of my own kin. But enough about my woes. May I be introduced to your companions? They are descendants of the famed Warriors of El. This is Matthew, son of Isaac. Ah, the Warriors of El. If, if you please, Your Majesty, my name is Karis. I'm Tyrell. And I am Reef, Your Majesty. 
I am not related to the Warriors of Vel, but please call me Amity. I'm not related either, as you can clearly see. I'm Shiveto of the Fang Tribe. I'm just Yolio. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm not important. You all, you all are me with your presence. But now I must know, Kraton, what brings you and your companions here? What do you seek? Your Majesty, would you be kind enough to let us see the items your army brought back from Morgal? <laughs> er, your Majesty, what? This was part of Emperor Ko's so-called hidden road, by which he brought treasures into the country. I can think of no better use for them to um, than to give to those who fight to end the eclipse. You would grant us treasures without even asking why we are uh, why we want them? Are you not curious? I have looked at you and heard you speak. If you can bring this eclipse to an end, no treasure is too dear. Smart man, smart man indeed. If my help can end the eclipse even one day sooner, I must do everything I can. Very smart man. Lord Sun's Ring, a Psy Crystal, and a Water of Life. Watch. Nope. Oh, it's the Emperor Gauntlet. Oh, yeah, I forget. The Umber Gear can only be held by, uh, Morgolians. Give it to him because he has crap for gloves, right? That boost criticals. We're just gonna equip that, right? The spoils of my predecessor constant, constant warfare are a small price to stop the eclipse. None inside and know the treasures here. Please take them from my sight. I hope and pray that the children are safe. Lord Kuan's children survived the Morgar Revolution? Wonderful. I wonder where they are now. They should just walk in any time minute, right? I assume they would just be popping in any time now. But perhaps my assumption was ill advised. Um, can I go tell the wife lady about that though? Like the kids not being dead, supposedly. Um, I didn't since read her, right? The Echo Gems have served our family for generations. I thought Hoju would be safe with hers. Each gem will always find the other, unless you cannot bring yourself to remove yours from your dresser. Oh. So hers is just in her dresser? Bro! Get out of my way! <laughs> You're not gonna let me do. Yeah, they have no intention of letting me get in there, huh? Alright, well... I clearly can't get that gym. That's the gong. Back here. This palace is huge. 
Oh, it's the kitchen. I'm just making sure I didn't leave anything, right? Emperor Unan's brother Kuan was the Lord of Morgal before he was killed in the Beastman Revolution. Though Sana is now unified, the Emperor grieves so much for his brother that he can barely speak. Well, I mean, to be fair, what did you learn from this? It is not right to occupy someone else's territory just because you believe they are bad people. Maybe next time just visit as an emissary and try to get to know them first before trying to occupy them? I'm just saying. But then again, what do I know, right? Da 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 boom boom boom. Alright, so let's see. I guess I need to be looking to see if there's any Jenny on the overworld map, right? Nice job, Karis. Uh, nice job dodging, I should say. Do the da 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 da. Um, is that is that Champa? I think that's Champa, right? dead before that anything does anything so actually let's have her use wish well right stretch it leveled up I just realized once we get Hemi we'll have exactly the same amount of boys and girls on our team that we did in Golden Gun 2 Makes it uh, an even number. Double shot. Brutal strike. Just before I enter the dark zone, I'm curious if you find a Jenny in this. In the shadowy area, does that mean they're corrupted, Jenny? I thought for certain he had blocked. That's why my attacks were doing less damage. Yeah, we're looking for, uh... Jenny. Let's just see what's over here, right? I would say his weapon looked kind of cool. I'd be for it. for a meltdown. Ugh. 
Uh, sleep bomb, that's a waste. There's an island over there. Chaos is actually slower than them. That, that was weird. Learn Poonji Strike. Ah, so I need Himi. Seems to be a lot of areas around here that need Himi. too much. This wall. We don't need to be here yet, actually. I don't think there's anything we can actually do here. I cold snapped the wrong thing. I should be able to reach that from here. This music, though. Why is it so angry? here a lot earlier than I should be, right? I got this one. Thermal! My thermal synergy can create a solid updraft of warm air. It doesn't work everywhere, but it's great in a spot like this. I wasn't trying to do that! Hard is the heat to ride the flames through the heavens. Yes, we knew that already. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here right now. Lucky Pepper! Alright, your luck is 12, yours is 18, yours is 10, yours is 4. Dear God! <laughs> Wait, Yolio's is 3, so that's even worse. I guess I found the two most un two most unlucky people in the world. Yes! It's gonna hit everybody.
Now that unfortunately would only hit him. But it killed him, so it's fine. Alright, Cash, you're gonna heal this turn, right? Uh, we're gonna go with the nature's boon, right? No, oh, he's just dead now. We're going back to the ship, right? Uh, just because I don't think we need to be here quite yet. remember correctly the endless wall is basically in-game stuff like once you go there you're like stuck so most likely we wouldn't even have been able to get very far here in water what the heck is that supposed to be? at least 20 pp those ships were the pride of sada but after lumerian fitting we were ashamed of how better they, uh, much better they are. It is time to go, Craig. Sorry to bother you, Craig, but something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Why didn't Noel come with you to bl uh, Blitz? I was wondering when you were uh, you to get around to asking me that. What with everything that's happened and all the peril and whatnot, <coughs> of course she slipped. Um, she slipped your mind. I'm ashamed though. She is my sister. Well, I suspect she's a touch distracted herself, but by love rather than peril. Noelle is in love with whom? Captain Pierce. Matthew, Pierce of the Warriors of Vale. When Piers arrived to Faria, she seemed especially vibrant, a glow even. When I disembarked, she simply told me, I'm going with Piers. Piers is a powerful adept, so she'll have a fine tutor. But they just sailed off together? Piers is one of the most capable sailors in the world. I'm sure no harm will befall her. I had no idea, but I'm glad she didn't get tangled up in all this. She was always the lucky one. Hmm. I wonder if you won't eventually think the opposite. Why? Where are you? Th uh, where are they sailing to? If we stand here reflecting on every one of our worries, we'll never leave. Onward! We have our future to sail off to. All right, I'm gonna go to the far right end of the world. Oh, look at the cute little slime beast thingy. Bad is dead now. <laughs> this is where I'm going eventually, but first we're gonna just cut through and go all the way to the right. La 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 Giant bad tried to aggress me on my own boat, but now it is dead because I killed it. Apparently, Matthew almost fell off the boat. Oh, well. Guess what, chat? Can't do nothing here. <laughs> you need Himi. So, does anybody happen to know how many Jenny there are of each type? That'll give me an idea, if, as, at least as to if I'm missing any, right? Synergy Surge! Inferno! Drain! Elixir. You think there's 18 of each type?
Let's see. So I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six Venus Jennies. In terms of Mercury, I'm missing one, two, three, four Mercury. In terms of Mars, I'm missing one, two, three, four, five Mars. And in terms of Jupiter, I'm missing one, two, three, four. I already know where one Jupiter is. We just can't get to it because we need uh, insight or whatever they call it from Emi. Yep, 18. Okay. I didn't even realize I could just check the gen guide and it'll tell me exactly how many I'm missing. This boat is so slow. Attack! Steal! Swarm! Yeah, I'm, I'm about to get her now. I went past it because I saw the island on the far end. I was like, there's gotta be something there, right? But turns out I need whatever ability Himi has to see hidden stuff. Like Reveal. Or whatever they're gonna call it in this game. Because you know they're not gonna call it the same as what they did before. Because, you know, they couldn't call... Frost, Frost again. They had to call it something different, like Cold Snap. I mean, it's not a bad name, though, so... There's that, at least, right? Oh, is that a volcano? I'm checking to make sure there's no Jenny in here. Also getting rid of all these alerts I have, a bunch of emails and stuff. So we're technically in part four of the game. Um, but I don't know if there's any overworld Jenny in part four. There's gotta be at least one or two, right? In the overworld. There's also the fact that I already have a great bulk of them already. It's Kabuterimon! And he's dead. Bye, Kabuterimon! <laughs> You'll be missed! Yamato City. Special collection could spring to life at any moment. Yes. I got uh, Cult of Lecu uh, at the Warriors' uh, rest. Princess Himi got um, caught a sudden fever. It is everyone very worried. There has been no sign of recovery. This young girl is daughter to Susa and Kushinada of Yamata. She is currently unconscious with a mysterious ailment. I love how Susa and Kushinada was so certain they were going to have a son in Golden Sun 2. And then in Golden Sun 3, they actually have a daughter. <laughs> they were so certain. When my son gets older, I'm going to name him after the Warriors of Vale, or I'm going to regale them with the story or the tales of the Warriors of Vale. You had a girl. <laughs> Did I get Sizzle the Mars Jenny? Um, good question. Let's see. No. If it's in part four, I've only gotten one Jenny, I think, in part four. And I, don't, I don't remember which one that was. Um, it was a fire Jenny. Um, I can't remember if it was Reflux or... No, it was Tinder. Tinder was the only Jenny that I got fire based in part four. So this is the only world map one to worry about? Okay, so then I need to figure out where that's at in... Uh, uh, obtain it, so to speak. 
But yeah, I did think that was hilarious because Kushinada and Susa were so hyper certain they were going to have a boy. Even though she wasn't pregnant, they were hyper certain that he was, um, they were going to have a boy. And they ended up having a girl. Which isn't a bad thing in any way, shape, or form. I just thought it was funny. Because I really think they wanted a girl. I mean a boy. I think they really wanted a boy. A blessed robe renews HP. Kozaic. Uh, cures elements. Eh. Alright, let's go find and cure uh, Kimi, right? Why is there a crack in the ground right there? Can I, uh... I was just drop right down, huh? Not a care in the world. Who are we breaking into now? Oh, well, hello there. Oh, what? I didn't even see him up on the cliff. It's Kite. I remember that guy. That used to, he used to be with Ivan. The spirit represents flight and is found in Yamata. From a high vantage point, Kite gives the party valuable tactical advice allowing for an extra action. Too bad it doesn't work on the entire party, right? It gives one person an extra action. Definitely is good for pre preventing a wipe, definitely. I just wish that instead of it only activating and using it on one person, you can, when you activate it, it would work on the entirety of your party. So your whole party gets to move twice, right? I mean, of course that would probably be broken, but a man can dream. I got some scrumptious looking bread. Oh, I forgot to sell stuff. I need to go back to that store and sell things. Uh, max HP goes up, right? I feel like I should save that for Himi, right? I'll give it to Karis. Karis, max HP is kind of meh. Let me go back to the store and sell stuff. Clear my inventory out, right? Use Himi lot. I'm gonna use a Himi only because, I mean, I love, I like Himi. I love Himi. Um, but I just, I want an all-female team. Uh, but since I can't have an all-female team, <laughs> we'll go for the next best thing. Everybody is female but Matthew. Matthew, congratulations, you get to stay a man. Sounds like an anime. It sounds like every anime thing to exist in this world. Alright, 
Let's actually go get Himi now and stop playing around, right? Yo, this place got a huge glow up though from what it used to look like in 2. Himi is resting in bed right now, so we're all supposed to be quiet. Okay, I'll be quiet. He says as he screams loudly. Hey, it's Kushinada, but she looks old now. <laughs> We must exercise the evil spirits from Himi's body. Ancestors, grant us strength. Because this is clearly going to work. We have performed many prayers and Himi will still not wake up. Maybe this is no curse, but if, she, but if it's not a curse, why won't she wake up? I must have, it must have something to do with the eclipse. So I can't get up there to her because they're blocking the path. Because that seems like the smart thing to do. Who are all of you? You don't remember me? Uh, you don't remember Kratten, Susa? Kratten? Susa, how have you been? This king of Yamato is father to Himi and Takiru. Oh, so he did have a son named Takiru and husband to Kushinada. He was a hero of Izumo in his youth. While the younger Susa was wild and uncontrollable, ages melted him, and he has earned the respect of his subjects. I haven't seen you since Felix defeated the Great Serpent. Spirit Dragon, more formally known as the Great Serpent of Mikage, uh, slept in Mount Mikage on the island of Nihon. When the Venus Lighthouse was lit, the dragon awoke. Using um, sunlight to weaken it, the warriors of Vale slew the beast. It's been 30 years. How time glides by us. I've been aging for all those years, but you, Cradden. <laughs> Sunlight and alcohol, exactly. Dragon's pain. You don't seem to have gained even a day. Weren't you over 70 when we last met? Ah, I noticed that, did you? It's not that I haven't aged, just not as much as I should have. It's the same for everyone who was involved in the Golden Sun. I wonder if I'll catch up to Dad age-wise. Oh, weird. I guess we might, huh? No way of knowing, really. The Golden Sun did slow the aging process immensely, though. I wonder why. Crayon is 100 years old? Pretty sure my old man aged like regular people. Hmm, Piers. I hadn't thought about it, but when Piers and I met, he was about my age. And he's still young, hale and hearty today. And you keep in contact with him? While he's aboard um, his ship via homing pigeon? <laughs> really? You trusted an important message to Captain Pierce to a bird? <laughs> Against the vast array of options for a non-adept such as myself to send a message many miles? Yes, I did. But if your pigeon couldn't find him, you would have just waited for an answer forever. I suppose so, but my pigeon hasn't failed me yet. But how could that little thing find him with the whole world to pick from? I wouldn't know where to start. Then I suppose my pigeon has you at an event this time, Rail. Ah, he goes just stupid, dumber than a pigeon. Ah, Tyrell, you suck. <laughs> Perhaps I can teach it to throw fireballs. It will put you out of a job. Oh no, he's even saying that if you could teach it how to throw fireballs, you'd be out of a job. Tyrell, you suck. <laughs> You just got roasted over a fire by a cred, Tyrell. That'll teach you to respect your elders. Hey, are you saying that Pigeon is smarter than me? <laughs> With all due respect, sir, we have more important things to do than to listen to you bait Tyrell. <laughs> Shouldn't we tell Susa about the eclipse? Hey, I'm not going to just stand here while Kratten tells everyone his bird is smarter than me. I've always hated pigeons, super feathery rodents. Susa, you have no doubt noticed the crisis on the mainland. We have come for your help in ending it. Wait, we have? I thought we were just standing around not looking for this guy in particular. I didn't say anything because I was certain we were able to, um, we'd be able to find him 
and time was a factor. But I have reasons to suspect, um, to suspect that we'll find some of the keys to our current plight here in Yamato City. We have we have escaped the darkness so far, but I do I don't wish to see it spread. I will help however I can. Unfortunately, I don't know how much I can help. Kushinada and Himi are the, on the other hand. Kushinada, this queen of Yamato is the mother of Himi and Takeru. Since Himi's illness, she has led countless uh, continuous prayer vigils. As a young woman, she was chosen by Lottery to be sacrificed to a monster, but was saved by the warriors of Bell. So where is Takeru? I keep seeing his name, but I don't think I've ever met him. Right place at the right time with the right items. There is a big degree of, oh hey, oh hey look, Himi is magically recovering because of this thing we found and have no idea of that. Mm -huh. Oh, Himi, Genie, Harasha, I got that wa Wait, wait, I'm trying to see if I can see it. Um, Himi, Genie, Harasha, Hataya, Sawaka. Um, Himi, Genie, Harasha, Hataya, Sawaka. It sounds more like a curse than a prayer, but you know, whatever. Sounds like a prayer vigil. Is, is something the matter? My daughter, since the eclipse, she has been unconscious and will not awaken. Your vowels could use some work. <laughs> I don't see you saying it. <laughs> Coming at my vowels. <laughs> Do I know anyone that speaks Mex Mexican Spanish? Not even the slightest bit. I'm sorry to hear that. Mm, uh, kind of, sort of? I know that you're supposed to roll your R's. That's about as much as I can. <laughs> they, are by, they are, by coincidence, the same vowels as, uh, as Japanese. Queen Kushinada. Are you alright, my queen? She has, to, she has to curse as well? You'll have to excuse me. Sounds like something is wrong. Should we investigate? Time to go be nosy. This is why I wanted her to stop. It does Himi no good if Kushinada works herself to death caring for her. Himi, Himi, I know you want to help, Himi, but you need to rest now, for her sake. I'm gonna do spirit sense again just because. No matter how fervently we pray, Himi's heart is unmoved. Is it possible her heart is gone? Like I just walked up to her. <laughs> what was that? What did you do to Himi? I asked what you did to my daughter. That stone, like an eye, what just happened? Ah, hey! What is happening? Watch, wait for it! Himi, are you? It worked! Oh, she is awake! That did it! Matthew, so that's what it was. What hap What is happening? You've just seen it with your own eyes. I suppose I have. She was chosen by the Watchtower's treasure. The third eye, a countermeasure against the eventual waking of Luna Tower rest here. So it's called the third eye. Chosen by a treasure? I guess that's what they meant about the treasure guiding us. Hold! I demand more of an explanation. Hello? 
Allow me to give it, Papa. I have to help. I have to help these people stop the eclipse. Hemi, what's going on? You're not making any sense. There is no time. I have the overwhelming feeling that the eclipse mustn't continue unchecked. Luna Tower consumes light, casting a grave eclipse that chases away all that is holy. It's terrifying grave, the grave eclipse is a terrifying phenomenon caused by the eclipse tower. While the tower swallows up all light, monsters of shadow reign. The eclipse tower doesn't merely obstruct light, it actually absorbs it. Though that, uh, uh, though what this might portend is unclear. It chases away the holy, eh? Who would have thought holiness could be chased? I can't explain why I know these things, but I do. The Grave Eclipse brings fiends to our doorstep. When the shadows overran Belinsk, the people suddenly found themselves in a city of monsters. If I look over, um, if I look out over the mainland, shadows cover everything I can see, even my Ayate. Champa. The tower is filling itself with the light it steals. When it gathers enough, it will release it all. So what's happening with the tower? When it, uh, what happens when the tower fills up? It is siphoning all light from the world and emitting darkness. You said you could help us stop the eclipse. How are we uh, to do that? If we can amplify the light going into the tower, the machine will be forced to stop. Amplify the light? How can we do that? With a device called the Apollo Lens. Unfortun unfortunately, we have already supplied it with the power it needs. This ancient machine amplifies light. In theory, it has the ability to end the eclipse, or an eclipse. We have already powered a machine that amplifies light? I remember no such thing. The Apollo Lens is connected to the other alchemy machines we have dealt, um, you have dealt with. By activating them, you have provided its power. Great. Let's get it running, then. They are speaking to me again. We must first remove the lock or, or the machine will not operate. We have to remove the lock, but in order to do that, one must be cloth and shadow. Yeah, yeah, gates, lock, shadow, close. It's never simple. <laughs> the key to is deep in the ground. The lock is at the center of the continent and the umber gear scattered across the world. So how are we supposed to find the umber gear? If you bring me to the right areas, you, I will guide you with my search energy. Each place is hidden. So instead of reveal, we have search. Morgal's oldest records include an umber map with these locations marked on it. Those records of Morgoth were taken in spoils of war when Sana conquered Bl um, Belinsk. An ancient Morgoth map in Sana, we must investigate. Looks like it. Looks like it. Ready for another trip, buddy? Yeah, it does sort of feel like Destiny, doesn't it? Every moment is precious. We should depart soon. Can we turn the lights back on? Thank you. We got a, we got a Hemi. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> Our cast is now full, chat. Tyrell, get out of here. <laughs> you are no longer needed. <laughs> Tyrell, you are no longer necessary. 